Hello guys, welcome to Jeff's Garage Adventures. You like tools? This is your channel. I do lots and lots of tool reviews, mostly middle of the road. I also do some low end and high end as well. And I also do some car tech tips and repairs. Before I get into today's video, what is today, the 5th? The 8th, which is Friday, is going to be a video that you want to comment on to be put into this giveaway. I have giveaways every other week, and this one will be next Friday, but the 8th, which is three days from now, is a video you're going to want to comment on. Not this video, but you, but I'd like for you to comment on that video if you if you want, you know. But So next week will be the giveaway, but this Friday is the one you got to comment on. you got to be a subscriber and comment on this Friday's video. What are the prizes? You get to, there's only going to be one winner in this giveaway. There will be three winners when I hit 9K. The 9K giveaway is going to have the snap-on ratchet, the icon ratchet, and the capri ratchet. This is a different different giveaway. This is my regular giveaway. Here's the prizes. Up for grabs. Either this icon quarter-inch drive ratchet. One winner, you get to pick one of these prizes. Or this Carlisle 120-tooth flex head ratchet. That is a locking by the way. Or these SATA wrenches. I still got these. No one grabbed these yet. Or these SATA combination wrenches. Op, they're are not combination, they're offset. That's not a bad set. Or these K2 screwdrivers. I also got them in black and green. You can either pick the black, uh, red, or green ones. I'm always trying to make it interesting, something new, an M12 Milwaukee flashlight. This is this is pretty uh, bright. I'll, get, I'll give you the battery as well with it. Hopefully you got a charger, right? <laughs> uh, so those are those are the five prizes up for grabs. And if I draw your name out next week, you get to pick one of those prizes. Not to be confused with the, nine, the 9K giveaway. The 9K giveaway, I, have, I haven't reached 9K yet. <laughs> All right, this is a question I've been asked a lot. How do you decide what to pick for a ratchet to use when you got so many? You're probably noticing something right now if you follow my channel. That's been cleaned. And it looks like less ratchets, right? Well, yeah, there, there is less ratchets. There a lot less. These are the ratchets I don't use as much. They're not in my rotation. Other than a few of those long ones you see there, the Genius, the Easy Red, and the uh, Tecton and that Die Hard, I do use those. But the rest of those ratchets, I don't hardly ever use. You're saying, well, how do you, uh, which ones do you use? Great, great, great question. This video was, this video was uh, much requested. Well, I came up with something. I had to do something, guys. These are the ratchets that I use. Big difference. And now you can, you can find the one you want to use. Don't use these much at all. Other than the half-inch drive ones on the end there, I use all of these. I'm not going to go through all of them. But these, are, these are the ones I use mostly. 90% of the time I use these. you got gear wrench in there. you got Capri. These are the ones I love. The 120s, gear wrench, XP, the also road I had. There's a bunch of there's some tones in there. These are the ones I, I gravitate towards. The snap-on quarter inch drive. You get the hint here, right? This one's one of my favorites. The genius round head quarter inch drive ratchet. I love that little ratchet. I like that 90 that 90 tooth uh, gear wrench with the lock and head. That's a cool little ratchet. And my long capri quarter inch drive, CP90. These are the ones I use. My Colkin 3H drive. And this one here is a, I had a good subscriber of mine who uh, sent me this. He put a, a, a retro kit in here. This is a quarter inch drive 90 tooth ratchet. He made it into a 3H drive in a quarter inch drive body. That's pretty cool. He's a great subscriber. My Colkin with that nice knurling. I like that Tecton foldable ratchet. I use this. I use this all the time. <clears throat> and they're getting tight areas. And of course, I got some of my Vims. I use a lot. 
more snap-on. So that's how I do it, guys. They're die hard. I use a lot. I love flex header ratchets. Locking, I prefer locking, but I also, there's times I don't want to lock in one. Another genius. This one's got the bent handle. I use it for spark plugs in my Chevelle to get my hands away from the uh, headers. Another snap-on ratchet. 3H drive long, long handle. And, of course, my Mackles. I gave away one of those uh, not too long ago. And the 72-tooth car lot. This one's been discontinued, I think. I love that ratchet. It's got the locking lock head with a push button. So that's how I do it, guys. I had a I had a request for this going way back. So how do you pick out the ratchet you want to use? It, might, it, might, it must take you forever to find a ratchet you want to use. That's how I do it, guys. I don't... Uh, those are the ones I use most of the time. I would say 90% of the time. Other than those half-inch drive ones up there, the long ones there. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as far as the ratchet series go, all we got left is stubbies and roto heads. And we'll be pretty much done with that series. It's not to say I won't have any more ratchet videos. I always have ratchet videos. But that's... Uh, about it. I have two more in a series. But then we're, then we're going to go into flex head, flex head ratchet wrenches, and then probably thin, uh, thin uh, combo combo wrenches. The thin ones there. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. They're real thin. Uh, I got a couple of those that came in the other day. They're great for tight tight areas. Sometimes you need them for like uh, holding the back of a caliper, brake caliper pin. But this next week's giveaway is going to be. You have to pick one of those prizes. So make sure you comment on this Friday's video, which is the 8th. I'm not sure I'm going to make a video tomorrow. My wife's got surgery. I'll be in Boston. I'm leaving at 3.30 in the morning. Yeah. It takes me three and a half hours to get there. And then uh, she's, got a, she's got a three or four hour surgery. Hopefully it, it turns out okay. And then we're going to, uh, hopefully she comes home that night. Otherwise i got to stay in a motel room. <laughs> there is a motel right across the street. That's convenient. And they do have rooms, but we'll see what happens. It's it's up in our sinuses. It's it's uh, was too delicate to do around here. It's not cancer. I want to repeat that. It's not cancer, but it's got to come out because it will turn into cancer. They said it goes all the way up to her eyeball, upper eyeball socket. So that's a pretty delicate operation. There's only three or four doctors that do it in the country, I guess. So we're going to Boston. All right, guys, take care and. Uh, I hope I answered a few of your guys' questions. That's how I that's how I picked my favorite ratchets. I had to do something because it was getting bad over here. How many ratchets do I got? I don't know. It's up there. All right, guys, take care and uh, make sure you comment on Friday's video, which is the 8th, November 8th. Be putting a giveaway. Take care.